journey to discover inspiration for new plants in another state. Would you believe me if I told you I drove hours just to see plants? It was an amazing drive. We even caught a beautiful sunset. Since my daffodils are home in Florida, failing, I travel to Tennessee to see some daffodils. And wow, aren't they beautiful? Oh my goodness, these lettuces, lettuces, <laughs> lettuce or kales. Oh, here got a name tag on it. Oh, how cute, they gave us a name tag. It's a flowering cabbage purple pigeon. Aww. I love this design they did. I'm going to do that this, this winter. And they have the pansies. Let me see what the white one is called. So those are cute. As I was saying, so they got the pansies in the middle. Look at that. How cute. I'm not sure if this is the end of their life or they were just planted, but they look so pretty. Beautiful. Wow. It's 80 degrees in Florida right now. I can't get these. <laughs> All my spring plants are dying. I love this design. So pretty and so green. Oh, look at the holly berries. Oh my world, their tulips are just coming up here in Tennessee. Meanwhile, my tulip came up and because it got to 80 degrees, it's so hot, the leaves are already wilting. Wilt, wilting. It is so pretty, oh my goodness. I just want to take it home. Tulips coming up, guys. Wow, and pansies. Here go some more. These are red. Wow.
there's like a yellow and purple thing that is so pretty and I have no idea what kind of tree this is but I love it this tree so pretty these beautiful daffodils imagine guys I left Florida to come to Tennessee for daffodils how beautiful is this we have some pansies over there some ornamental kales and cabbages But it's so amazing seeing daffodils up close. I think it's the first time I'm seeing daffodils this close. And this bee is so cute. He's been on here for the entire time since I've been on here. I know everyone is actually driving by and wondering why is this lady sitting on the grass staring at flowers, talking to the flowers. <laughs> but as gardeners, we ignore them, right gardeners? Well guys, this is my first time seeing daffodils up close. I've seen them on TV, on YouTube, in pictures, but this is my first time seeing them in person. Like these look amazing. And I was actually going to give up on my daffodils. I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? It's been two years I've planted daffodils and they haven't been growing. But this just makes me want to grow them even more. So I'm gonna try again next year, guys. And I noticed that they have two different types. Comment below if you know what type these are. I don't know why I wanna call the bigger one the trumpet daffodil and the smaller ones like tete -a tete or petite. <laughs> but if you know what variety these are, comment below and let me know. But I'm leaning towards the bigger one. I love the big ones. You know, my garden is pretty loud and colorful. Look at it. How amazing are these colors? Look at this. These are beautiful. They got the pansies and it's 40 degrees so they can bloom and tolerate this temperature. I'm gonna have to look up what zone Tennessee is. I'm actually in Gatlinburg, Tennessee so I have to, I have to look up to see what zone they are in but their tulips are just starting to come up i think their snow just finished they just finished getting snow off the ground so now everything is coming through it's spring for them the last frost date haven't passed it because we actually had snow here a few days ago so things are coming up so you can't plant this other spring blooming items yet tulips and pansies together when I say garden inspo, guys, I'm getting so much inspo. Look at this. Tulip and daffodils together. I am so going to plan. I'm going to figure out how to get it done, but I'm going to get it done.
tulips and daffodils, guys. So pretty. I don't know what type of um, evergreen this is, but it's pretty. It's like yellow sunshine color. I know it's not a um, arborvitae. It looks like some kind of juniper family, but I don't know the name of it. And this looks like a creeping juniper, creeping evergreen. I know it's not what it is. But it looks so pretty. Like the contrast and the texture are so pretty together. And I think these are double knockout roses. I think they are. Because they look just like mine that I have. And look at that. It looks like some of them came up. Or either these are from last year. And because it was cold, they all dried up. But new growth are coming in, guys. I can't tell if they cut them back or not. I don't think they cut them back yet. But it's pretty. Like, imagine this entire area in full bloom. That's red. Like, I love the contrast that they did with that. Different textures and colors. I don't know what the, that is, but it's pretty. It reminds me of individual tulips, petals, and rose petals on a tree. In the color of cherry blossom. So pretty. So many garden inspiration, guys. Wow. I'm in heaven. <laughs> and I kind of want to come back in the spring when everything is in full bloom. Oh, it's so beautiful. And in case you're wondering where I am, I'm in Tennessee, in the mountains. Look at that. There is just so many garden inspirations here, guys. It's so pretty. Like over there is double knockout roses as well. So there's a lot of reds with greens against the log cabin. <laughs> but look at the mountain top, guys. And yes, that's where we're staying. We're actually staying up there in the mountain on the very top. I'm going to show you a video soon. Uh, are those a tater tot arborvitaes? And they go that. Let me zoom out so you can see it properly. And then we got that yellow. Juniper, I don't know what it's called. I said it right now, just making it up. <laughs> so we call it a yellow evergreen. That's there we go, a yellow evergreen. But look at all the different colors and textures. So pretty. Look at that evergreen. <gasps> Are those hydrangeas? But oh my gosh, let's go over there. We made it across the street. We made it across the street. All right, that is a limelight hydrangea. It's not in bloom right now, but look at it. And look at this, um, I forgot the name. I think it's Wayland Cypress. It's like a skinny, um, I call it evergreen. I'm not sure if it's an evergreen fan, but it's super skinny. I call it a pencil evergreen. And right here are more roses. Imagine the red with that, that looks like a blue, that blue cypress, I forgot the name of it. But it looks like a blue evergreen. So imagine the red with the green with, the, oh my gosh, and then with the white. That has to be so pretty in the winter and in, in the springtime. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's get even closer. I'm up close and personal with the limelight hydrangea, guys. Why the lead, the petals look so small? It looks almost like an Annabelle because of the size of the blooms because limelight are a lot more larger but because of how tall it is i want to say it's a limelight it could be a, just a very old another type of <laughs> hydrangea but it looks like a, a limelight i'm gonna call it a limelight but look at this contrast so beautiful i would love to have this in my yard like just like that the evergreen with the hydrangea with the dark mulch This is beautiful. And if you notice, can you see it? 
but inside is very green and then the outside is getting the sun it's blue it's like a blue turquoise color i love it love it love it This looks like a super tuna tree. Look at the petals. They look like super tunas. <laughs> like a little super tuna silverberry. So pretty. If you know what kind of tree this is, comment below and let me know. I wish they all had like tags on the dell. Look at the petals. Isn't that pretty? It looks like petunia petals. So pretty. So everywhere, everywhere I've been seeing these, it's like trees with, and the leaves are pink instead of green. Here goes some new growth here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know what this is but it's pretty hello arborvitae i wish you looked the same in my zone 9 garden i'm gonna plant one and give it a try guys and i need to find out what this pink tree is called it's given cherry blossoms <laughs> it looks some well cherry blossoms are a lot more pretty but it reminds me of that one thing I was amazed by was how decorated the town was with so many spring flowers. On the railings, there were planters, the garden beds in the center, like here, was planted up with tulips. It was so beautiful. I look at that. Railings everywhere had spring flowers in them. And look at these purple. I was trying to capture them, but we were going so fast. But it was beautiful, guys. <laughs> I love these houses. I love different architectural type homes and they're just so different from the houses that we have in Florida. Even look at that. Look at look at those beautiful evergreens. Oh, and I love the brick and the glass. Oh. Like these houses were calling my name. I'm like, hey, pack up and move to Tennessee. You can get spring plants. Look at these. So beautiful. And one thing that people in Tennessee, let's just say uh, everyone above Florida have that we do not have in Florida is a basement. We are below sea level or at sea, that's at sea level. We are so close to sea level or either we're below sea level that we can't dig far enough to build a basement. <laughs> Look at all this land space. Oh my goodness. But it definitely was beautiful, beautiful. And we even had a chance to stop by the garden center um, in Tennessee and check out Lowe's. And could you believe they had my, they had my Japanese maple. Oh my goodness. Why are they like $100 and $50 here? Now this is something that I will take home with me. Oh, they go to Tami Yukami Japanese maple and they have different types of emperor. So it's so good seeing them in blue. So the emperor is a darker red while the the blood good is more of red that I'm looking for. Wow, I'm happy I got to see them flowering while well, the leaves are red. Wow. But why are they so much cheaper than mine? They're three and four hundred dollars in my garden center, guys. Meanwhile, look at this, 175, and these are way bigger. So the next day, we decided to take our little babies to Dolly World. The real reason why we came on this trip is for some family time. And the 
flowers were such a big plus i was not expecting so many plants here. look at this there was a flower this is a music festival but there's also a flower festival that was coming i didn't know that but dolly world had so many flowers as well which was so amazing i was like what so i was literally in spring flower overload everywhere i go i went downtown i was at the resort i was at dollywood and every every where else that we went there was flower arrangements everywhere it was so beautiful and spending time with my family was oh, amazing a heart speed to the city streets we began to feel the fire these are five most important people in the world to me my little heartbeats my blessings even though my older ones are teenagers, it's hard to get pictures of them as well as my husband. I love you guys. The night's young, and it's just begun. As she puts her hand in mine. We want to chase the night. Want to dance to the light. Pulls us from the sky, just two hearts running wild. Never sleep, never stop. a bit early but there are quite a few flowers out kale dusty millers pansies are those corbels or is it a hookra and look at these
Anyone know what kind of tree this is? Look at it, look at the petals or blooms. The pansy is so pretty. Hello, Garden Inspo. I wonder which ones are these. Look like um, Vanth is in the front. I'm not sure, could be wrong. But I'm loving this double tiered kale. The verbena is so pretty. Remember this one I saw in Lowe's? That's what it looks like in the ground. In the ground? There's multiple lollipop. And look over here. This is zone 7A. And the hydrangeas are already leafing out. Mine is not leafing out. I think because these are more established hydrangeas. And there go the dry one. They didn't prune that one. <laughs> so they left a few. And you can tell some of these got pruned already. Ignore my baby. <laughs>
reason why it's called the Smoky Mountains.